Gather up your projects, settle in your favorite spot. It's time to stitch with Sarah at her stitchy Camelot. Let's celebrate each other, this community we've got. It's time to get down to Sarah's stitchy spot. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my Floss Tube channel where we will discuss and celebrate all things cross-stitch. Grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable, and join me at Sarah's Stitchy Spot. Hi, it's Sarah, and this is Floss Tube number 26. It is Wednesday, June the 28th, 2023. I would like to welcome each and every one of you to my Floss Tube channel. As I do at the beginning, I want to give big hugs and kisses to my husband, Stan, for writing and performing the intro song that you just heard. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see and that you will subscribe, like, ring the bell, share, and do all the things that we do on FlossTube. If you are a returning viewer, um, I just lose all my words when it comes to all of you. You have meant the world to me. We, we are almost at, at, at a year mark. I, I can't believe it since I started my first floss tube. I haven't even looked up the date, but I will um, at some point. But we're really close because I think I started it in July. So um, thank you for, for filling my heart, lifting me up, keeping me company, um, and just making me just be a better me. So anyway, boy, do we have a lot to talk about today. Um, so let's, let's just jump in. I, I want to, as always, um, talk about some comments and some uh, wonderful projects that, that you sent me uh, that I want to show your work on, on, the, on the channel. So um, let's get going. First and foremost, <laughs> as always, you guys have my back. Um, I showed my finish, my very proud finish, but my slightly not quite finished um, of Mary Snow by Hands Across the Sea last time we met. Uh, many of you noticed that there was a chimney missing on, the, uh, on one of the houses at the bottom. I want you to all know that that has been fixed. Um, and um, again, I don't think I could really finish things without you because you guys have saved me more than once by by obviously really looking at what I'm stitching when I hold it up and then being kind enough to be so gentle and let me know that I needed to take care of those things. So um, thank you again for that. So um, what I want to do is I want to um, show off some um, stitching by by some of the viewers uh, with this Floss Tube channel. And I'm gonna really have to look at my notes so that I can, and, and mark it so that I can show you. But the first one is, and, and excuse me if I mispronounce, I did look this up on YouTube, but Ute showed me her finish of Welcome to the World. And I'll put a picture right there. Uh, as many of you remember, this was the uh, piece by um, uh, Emma Congdon Stitrovia that I did for um, my medical assistants at, at, as a uh, birth announcement when she had her baby. And Ute has completed hers uh, in the same fashion. And I think that her, her colors are so vibrant and so beautiful. And um, I want to thank her for sharing that with me. And I know that you will all enjoy seeing it. The second piece is from Lorraine, and it is a stocking. It is the Carriage House Samplings Sampler Stocking. And she stitched this for her 69th, her parents' 69th wedding anniversary. And, um, it, it, uh, and I'll put the picture here. And it is just exquisite, which um, uh, reminds me, there is a hashtag, an ongoing hashtag going right now 
with Angie, the tiny house stitcher, and uh, Michelle Hudson of Sacramento, California. And it is called Summer Stocking Sal. And um, you can stitch any stocking that you want to, but this is a perfect example that it doesn't have to be a seasonal stocking, uh, that there are uh, many uh, patterns out there. And Angie has showed uh, uh, a lot of those on her floss tube uh, to choose from. Uh, of course you can do a seasonal stocking, but this is a, a beautiful example of one that is just um, uh, timeless. So Lorraine, thank you for sending that to me and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I also have Diane's first finish. Now this is not my daughter, Diane. This is a viewer, Diane. And I'm gonna put a picture of that right here. And um, I want us to all congratulate her and be really excited because um, it's her first finish. Just, just imagine, I mean, for some of us, the dinosaurs roamed when we had our first finish. But um, anyway, uh, I was very happy for her. I was thrilled that she shared that with me. So um, let, let's all, uh, you know, a bravo for, um, for Diane and her first finish. And then we have another first, and this is from Kelly. And this was her first finish of a hands-on design, uh, a hands across the sea sampler. And, um, and it's Ruth Gibb, and I'll put a piece of that here, a uh, picture of that here. She stitched it on 28 count Lugana uh, with Cappuccino from Grace Notes Fabrics. And she used 2646 in the uh, Swadage. So um, Kelly, congratulations. I, I know the joy of, of having a finish on your first hands across the sea. So I think that those were the pieces that I wanted to make sure that I shared with you guys. Other things uh, that, uh, from the comments, um, Jen uh, talked about using old postcards for floss drops, which I thought was a very clever idea. They could be laminated and um, it would be a very unique uh, use of postcards, keeps them out of the garbage, out of the landfill. And uh, I wanted, I thought that was so clever, I wanted to share with you. And um, also, I mentioned last time the use of playing cards um, for floss drops. And uh, one of my viewers mentioned that Carrie, that you guys all know, Sweet Carrie, from Tiger Lily Designs, she had actually showed the use of the playing cards for floss drops uh, almost two years ago in one of her floss tubes. So I just wanted to make sure that um, I, I thank uh, my viewer for letting me know that. And um, I just like to give credit where credit is due. Um, so that I think takes care of all my little comments. I am gonna glance down because I had quite a few Okay, and then, oh, Patricia had a question about a satin stitch. She has started, oh, joyous day. I think she started it on the 19th for her birthday. I think I wished um, her a happy birthday with the last video. Um, and she was asking about uh, doing the satin stitch, which there is some across the border. There may, it may be in other places on oh, joyous day by Blackbird Designs. I want to um, throw it out to you guys. I want a little help. I get a little intimidated by satin stitch as well. And I remember, but I cannot find it. There was a Nicola Parkman did a, it was not a, a tutorial per se. She was actually sitting in a different room and she talked about doing the satin stitch. And I couldn't remember if she went all the way across and then went back in every other to fill it in. Um, but any help that you guys could throw Patricia and I our way about a, a doing a good satin stitch because I, I'm trying not to back away from specialty stitches. So um, I welcome those comments and um, I will look for those and then I can share them um, on the next video. So, and then now I'm gonna jump into, um, you guys all know that um, Father's Day weekend was also the weekend that we celebrated uh, Eva and David's wedding. 
um, and it was it was it was just magical. Um, but Sandra also brought up to me, "Don't you have other grandchildren?" And I do. I absolutely do. And um, so as I start talking now, I am going to be inserting some pictures. Um, I'm going to try to do the first one will be of Diane and I. She is my oldest daughter. Now, I hope I can keep these in order. Um, the next one will be her three children. So these will be my three oldest grandchildren, Anthony, Bailey, and Molly. And then I'm going to put in a picture either of Eva and Mira. Mira is 10 years old. She is Allison's daughter. And you all met Allison last time who, who worked with us on the exercises. Um, and then of course, Vince. I had one grandson, Raja, who could not be with us. Um, he is Allison's oldest son. So um, I had five of the six grandchildren there. And again, um, you'll just be seeing these pictures as we talk. But it was a wonderful celebration. Um, the weather was perfect. Uh, the food was good. And um, best of all, I, I had, um, I just had the most wonderful time in the Airbnb uh, with, 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 my, with my children, with my grandchildren. Um, it, it was, uh, it's just one of those special things that are priceless that you don't get back. And when that door opens, you need to walk through it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed those pictures. I've never meant to, um, to not show my other grandchildren. Uh, I just don't see them as often and I, I don't always have the pictures, but we can certainly correct that situation. Vince continues to do well. Chester continues to do well. So let's let's move into um, the the stitching. Um, and oh oh no no no, I, I did want to do a couple of shout outs and and mention uh, a floss tube. Um, primarily, I I did want to encourage you all if you are not watching Susan Stanley a stitch in time, please go and watch her channel. Uh, again, I, I know I've mentioned her before, but she just sometimes bears um, mentioning again and again. She has such a wealth of knowledge about um, fabric, about stitching. She goes, she goes deep into what she's doing. She's concentrating right now on um, all, all things uh, stitchy around the 1840s, but she really, she made an announcement in her last video, and I went to look, and she, she doesn't have them numbered, but it is her most recent video, uh, and I think it has something in the title about a big announcement. But she is going to, uh, she has kits available, and she's going to have the ability to walk you through making a doll quilt. I can't speak intelligently about that because I don't quilt, um, but I encourage you to go listen quickly, because I'm sure those kits are going to sell out, but to go look at her, her video and, and listen to her explain it. I fully intend to listen to every tutorial um, and all the words that she shares with us on that, even though I, I won't be attempting to make the quilt itself. But I think this is a wonderful opportunity for all of us who, who, who love fabric, who love stitching, who love all things sewing, to, to really expand our knowledge. And Susan, I wanna thank you for that. Um, I have a couple of floss tubes that I wanna mention. Um, Lindsay, who is cat fur and cross stitch. She is from Canada. She started her, um, uh, her first floss tube with a whip parade. She has a lot. Lindsay, I can completely relate to you, um, but she stitches a variety of things and we all love whip parades. So I, I encourage you to go check out Lindsay, cat fur and cross stitch, give her a big hello, subscribe and show her what a wonderful supportive community we are. The second one is Carol, the crafty whippet. Um, she actually has several videos out. I think she's up to number 43. One of my viewers, um, recommended her to me. Uh, again, she has a smile that would light up her room and um, uh, she she's, uh, stitches on a variety of things and I, I, I think you would all enjoy her as well. So go do the things 
for the stitching, uh, the crafty whip it. And finally, um, Karen H, um, who is Karen, um, she just started her first floss tube and um, she does wonderful projects. And the amazing thing about Karen is if you follow her on um, Instagram, you know that she went through a terrifying experience where her son uh, lost uh, the use of an eye and they've been through multiple surgeries, lots of doctor's visits. And she describes in that first video, um, sort of a change in how she approach, approaches her stitching, but, but mainly how her stitching helped her uh, through that time. And so, um, Please, please go over and say hi to Karen and, and, um, and welcome her as well. I also wanted to take a minute to mention, uh, if you are in the area, Julie of uh, Running With Scissors, Stitching With Jane and Julie is going to be teaching a beginning hardanger class at Welcome Stitchery. And Welcome Stitchery is another great floss tube with um, Justine and Shelly. And, and they've got all the information. Um, I think the class is in September, registration starts around the 1st of July. But anyway, um, go, go check that out, guys, because if, if you want to do a hard anger, I think Julie is the one to learn it from. And um, so I just wanted to, to, to give a little um, uh, yay for that. So, okay, I think, I think we've got those things um, uh, covered. So where are we going to go? Let's see. I've got uh, a couple of finishes. I've got I've got a almost fully finished a finish. Um, I've got new starts. My new starts could almost go in a laundry basket. I've got a lot of happy mail, which is very exciting. And then of course um, we will cover my whip. So we'll jump right in. My almost fully finish is this was um, you, you guys saw this. This was love and joy come to you. This was um, a piece by a Heartstring Samplery. I don't remember the fabric. Uh, I do know that I used a Mississauga silk that was left over from the uh, 2020 pandemic um, piece that I stitched. I uh, backed it with the um, Lady Dots Creates um, velvet. And I am also awaiting an order from her uh, and I will put either a Chanel or um, uh, maybe ruching uh, a ribbon a around it. But um, I was really happy that I got this done. So I guess it's not fully, fully finished, but I was proud of it. So I was just going to share it and may share it again when I get it really finished. Okay. Um, and I wanted to tell you a little story about Lady Dots Creates. When I realized I didn't really have a trim that would match that, I, I placed an order and I got the order, I, I got the email that the order was confirmed, and I don't even think I had gotten off of Gmail before I, I had the uh, email that the order had dispatched, so I, I know I'm going to be getting that really soon, and Lois, you are, you are just amazing, and um, we all appreciate all that you do and your wonderful customer service, so my finish is, uh, let's see, where did we put that? Okay, right here, is... Eliza's Birds by JVW Designs. Oh my gosh, isn't that just the sweetest thing you ever saw? I am just thrilled with it. I love the, the darker pops of pink, uh, the greens. I, I have purchased a frame and um, I think there's going to be, I mentioned it loosely, that there was going to be a, um, a framing, uh, well, I don't know what you, what you, a finishing kind of stitch along that will be hosted by Maria Stitches and Diamonds and um, Angie, the Tiny House Stitcher. And I think that's going to start on Facebook at their group on July 1st. And I'm hoping that this will be the piece that I frame. So this is Eliza's French Birds, and that was um, a sow that was started by Annie of the Proper Stitcher, and it's still going on. There are many people uh, kidding this up, many people stitching on it right now. So that is my finish on that. 
Okay, so let's get that out of the way. And um, I think, right, we'll jump into new starts, of which I had four. I'm, I'm channeling my inner Laura duet. I'm gonna take just a quick sip of water. Thank you for indulging me. My first new start um, is goes along with my hashtag Stitch Smalls from PNPS. Um, and I chose as my second one, um, the Blue Flowers Season of the Heart, Summer. And this is from the 2021 Summer Issue. I am stitching this on, let's see, 36 count Sandcastle by Color and Cotton, using mostly the call for um, DNC. I think I have stuck a couple of uh, uh, a Vicki Clayton silk and a Mrs. Seda silk in here. Um, but this is the little bit I have done so far. Okay, let's hold that up like that. So many of you have warned me about the counting on the heart. So I am really going very slow with that and anchoring it to other pieces in the stitch. I'm stitching it one over two as I do on 36 count. So that is Seasons of the Heart, Summer by the Blue Flower. And um, this is my effort to continue to finish and get smalls uh, to use for gifts, uh, retreats, um, you know, uh, just kindness. W whenever you need one, you'll have one done. So that is that one. My next one is, is going to be another challenge for me. Sometimes I... I just dive into things and I don't, uh, I, I probably don't plan ahead, but I had mentioned to you guys that I wanted to start Eleanor Rigby uh, by Blackbird Designs. And I did select a 40 count uh, ancient by Picture This Plus. This is the chart. This is the one that I'm going to do, the colorway that I'm gonna do. And the, the threads um, look like this. They're blues, browns, blacks. I think I, I am using the Weeks um, Onyx instead of the um, uh, Gentle Arts because um, I didn't have it, or I probably have it, but it's in another bag. And, um, but it's, on, it's 40 count. Now I'm doing okay with 40 count because you know I'm doing Martha Evans um, on, on a 40 count piece of fabric. The, the little teeny tiny thing I didn't realize, and this is where I, I should just do a little research before I jump into things, was that Eleanor Rigby, and I want that on there, is stitch one over one on 40 count. Hello, Brenda. Well, okay, but I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go forward. Um, and I also am learning that the, um, the 40 count on Picture This Plus, as many of you have said, is very tight. And I know that, that you probably think that that is such a small start as to not be shown, but I did get it started in the month of June, which was my plan. But I think it will be gorgeous. It will be small. And I will probably do the one over one as a tent stitch. So. So that is my second new start for the month, month, which is Eleanor Rigby by Blackbird Designs. Okay, my next one was my birthday start. This just, uh, it, it, it has, what I have done on it has, has just blown my mind. I, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it is Sarah Milthrop, 1834 by Hands Across the Sea. This was the um, symposium piece, sampler symposium in January at the attic. 
um, I am stitching it on a 36 count cream brulee with the delicious called for um, swadage silks. So I do put them on floss drops. I have this really cool, um, the, uh, Oh. oh, you guys, I'm not going to remember her name. I'll put it down below. But you know, the, the really cute uh, needle bling, uh, floss bling that she makes. I am so proud of this. I've got it on backwards, so um, I'm going to fix it. So uh, without further ado, I will show you the piece itself that, and how much I have done so far. Um, I didn't think I was going to be able to stop stitching on it. Now, I know that it's probably just a little hard to see um, on this fabric, but I think once everything starts getting filled in, it's going to be fine. I love the fabric. I love stitching on Tabby Cat fabric. I love using the silk. And I have planned, it, I, I was torn between, um, because I have to select a new first week of the month, um, Hands Across the Sea, that is hashtag H-A-T-S, first week of the month, Sal, that was started by Laura Duet of uh, Brendan and the Serial Starter. Um, but it's got, it's got to be this piece. Um, I, I, I just love it. I was, was toying between that and Tom's Foolery, but, you know, I'll still uh, stick stick work in on Tom's Foolery uh, as well during the month. The other thing I have been meaning to show you guys, I haven't, do you, I don't know if any of you have been with me since the beginning. This was a beautiful card that I received from Tanya, the Zen Stitcher. And um, I think I got the idea of this from uh, Molly and Kathy, um, scraps, uh, linen and scraps. But what I did was, it, because I love the card, I put, I sewed a piece of felt in the card. So I just, I ran the seam, you know, right down the middle, and I'm using it as a thread bed. So I just thought it was a brilliant idea, especially for cards that you really love. And then you see them every day. I'm really gentle with it. I try to, to not throw it around, but um, I had had that in a couple of other projects that I had worked on and finished, and I always forgot to share that with you guys, so I wanted to, to be sure and show that. So that was my birthday start um, on June 20th, and um, again, thank you all so much for all the birthday wishes and kindness. I, I do have some things to show um, at the end uh, for Happy Mail, but um, I, I, I appreciate um it was like it was like one really big birthday party. So um, and we were stitching and it was great, right? So okay, now my last start and certainly not my least start is uh, this Juneteenth day, which I did start on um, June the nineteenth. I will get the picture of that here. This is by Shaded Stitchery. I am stitching this on a 36 count summer khaki with the called for DMC, uh, which I can show you. I haven't got it all on floss tubes. I put my, um, I put my floss on floss tube uh, uh, on the drops as it gets called for. I, I usually don't just sit and do it, Laura. Um, so those are the, and this is my progress so far. It is, um, I don't know how to describe um, how I felt stitching on this. It was a, um, it was very powerful, Nuri, and I, I thank you um, for designing this, for uh, allowing us to um, celebrate and to remember black culture. 
but it's a beautiful sanflower and I am just thrilled with it. So that was my fourth start and I started that on the 19th of June. I have it in my Made By Me project bag. Oh, which by the way, I have another Made By Me, that's a finish, Made By Me project bag. And this is uh, material that I bought while I was in Paris. Stan and I got to go to Paris about six or seven years ago. And um, again, it's, it's pretty much just got that yellow batik until I've used it all up um, inside. Um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even try to say French words, but we were in that area of, Fran of Paris that starts with an M and it's very close to the, um, the White Heart Church, the Sacre Coeur Church that's up on a hill. And there is a lot of um, fabric stores around there. And, um, and so this is where that fabric came from. So this is um, another finished project bag. And this is the piece, the top piece here, is what I use to show you guys how to use the uh, double-sided basting tape. And thank you guys for, for watching that. And thank you guys for all the support that you gave Allison um, for her exercises, even wanting the, um, the little segment as a standalone. I am so happy about that because um, you, you guys know, I, I, um, I, I, I truly care about your health. And I think um, getting around and doing a little bit of moving is, is, is so important. Uh, for what we do. So uh, again, thank you for that. Allison, thanks you. I think she was very touched by all the kindness. So, okay, I think we're ready for whips. Now, because I had uh, four days um, sort of sort of out of the picture uh, at the wonderful wedding celebration, I think you might find that my whips are down just a bit, but I do have them and I'm going to show them to you right now. So, um, my first one is the Little Red Schoolhouse Pin Keep by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. I am stitching this on 36 count Up in the Attic by Fox and Rabbit using uh, Falu Red by Roxy Flosco. And um, this is my progress so far. Oh, wow. Uh, this was actually a piece that I was working on in the Airbnb, so I probably just put it down and went to the next activity with a needle in it. But I love stitching on this. I, it, I just love this and want to get it done. So that is Little Red Schoolhouse Pin Keep by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. Okay. It is in my um, bag uh, with the Teresa Kogut fabric that I got from um, Stacy, the 911 stitcher. Thank you, Stacy. Okay. The next piece is my seven day focus piece. Uh, I got this idea from Karen, the recovering monogamous stitcher, and um, I pick a piece to, besides the first seven days of the month on a hands across the sea I pick a second focus piece that gets seven days and this this month or this one is moonlight sampler by the blue flower and here is the chart isn't that just it's stunning I'm stitching it on 36 count grape harvest by XJU Designs, and I'm using the Call For Overdyed and DMC. And this is my progress so far. I have been concentrating in this corner here. So I have almost got the uh, moon completed, uh, the sliver of a moon with those, uh, these flowers all in here. I did some more of the wording, which I know is probably a little difficult to see. And then that is 
all of what I have done so far. So that is the Moonlight Sampler by the Blue Flower. Okay, and that is my seven day focus piece. Next is um, another uh, stitch along, which is A Simple Life. And that is um, from the Patreon uh, of Teresa Kogut. It is a mystery stitch along. I am woefully behind. I am stitching this on a 36 count overcast by Cedar River Linen and Designs. Hi, Jody. And I'm using the called for over dyed floss and DMC. This one may be a little dangling thread heavy but I was concentrating over in this area to do these flowers. And I think that's what I've done so far, the flowers and the greenery here. I just keep plugging away. It's hashtag simple life sell. So that is by Teresa Kogut. Okay, next are my Red Stamp for Thursday pieces, which as you know, I, you know, I asked once a long time ago, did you, are you guys okay seeing these every two weeks? And I, I felt like I got an overwhelming yes, but um, you know, please share what you think, but I, I do love documenting the progress. Um, so my first one is Ursilia Sampler, and um, I'm doing this on 36 count Just the Ticket by Tabby Cat. I'm using the Silk um, Belsois in the Tulip colorway. This is the chart. And I will just, just say, yeah, the alphabet is, is a little wacky. Um, it doesn't bother me in the least, um, but um, it, 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 places have no rhyme or reason. So um, this is my progress. So what I did is I actually came down just for grins and started the bird or the duck, goose. But primarily I have concentrated on taking these two top rows of letters all the way over. So this is the end of the border and I wanna get these uh, two and, and get that over and then continue to work down. So this is Ursilia Sampler by Samplers in My Attic. It is a piece that Jean Lee owns of the attic. And I just love it. Thursdays are my happy days. Uh, actually, any day I'm stitching is my happy day, but I love knowing that they're coming and that I'm gonna get to spend time with them. And then the second piece is uh, Mary 395, which um, we will have a little discussion about. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the cow only has three legs. Someone, um, well, several of you uh, made a comment and um, I went to look and I looked at what I'd stitched and then I looked at what was on the chart and it looks like three legs. So um, I am stitching this on 36 count antique ivory Edinburgh using Gloriana poinsettia and hollyberry, primarily the poinsettia. I had this um, kitted up at, as you know, at the, um, at Acorn and Threads. I have continued to work in this area down here. And yes siree, that cow just looks like it has three legs. Now let's look at that again. And then look at that again. Yep, three legs. Okay, I just, I'm always second guessing myself. But I have, um, 
I just continue to work on those little um, geometric designs. And then this is everything. I can just almost not get it in the, it's like doing Allison's exercises, huh? You see, that's another reason why we have to have strong arms so we can hold up our stitching. Okay, so that is Mary 395 by Hands Across the Sea. I am, I am, I am, I feel like you guys have really been there with me for these and, um, and I will remember that when they're done. The next one is the um, piece for hashtag Pam Survival Sal. I chose to do um, Have Courage by Cottage Garden Samplings. As I, um, I started this on June 11th, uh, which was the day she planned to start. I am doing this for, um, to honor and celebrate all those that have had um, reproductive cancers, which was a huge part of my, um, my life as a physician caring for women. Um, I am stitching this on a 36 count hog bristle by Fox and Rabbit. I'm using the call for overdyed floss. I have it in my Made By Me project bag uh, with the with the crooked <laughs> interface to a sampler, but n n nonetheless, Christina, a beautiful sampler uh, designed by Wildst Iris Naps, which was a piece to raise funds for uh, breast cancer awareness. And this is my progress. I got um, more work done on the bird. I love the, uh, the, the subtle modeling in this uh, hog bristle. It is so gorgeous. So that is Have Courage by Cottage Garden Samplings. 36 count, one over two. For hashtag Pam Survival Sal. And we'll interrupt this program, and I'll just show you my my uh, planner for June, too. So, as you can see, a lot of stitching every day, or I certainly try. Okay, my next is um, is Vince's um, birth announcement sampler, and that is Adventure Awaits by Nikki Pattern. There is a, another viewer that's working on this and we were both lamenting uh, the mountains. Well, my mountains are done. Um, I am stitching it on 20 count Ada in antique white using the called for DMC. And the mountains are done. So really the next part of what I'm gonna need to do is, is actually to do the charting for his name, weight, uh, whatever it is that goes on here before I can get down to the cute little critters. So I, I will need to make myself uh, get busy with that. So that's Adventure Awaits, which will be Vince's um, birth announcement sampler. Also in a um, Made By Me Sock Monkey. Um, Project thing. Okay. Next is um, Oh Joyous Day. I just had to get it out. I just worked on it a little this morning, but it was calling to me by Blackbird Designs. Um, I think I saw Bridgen, the museum stitcher, did a whip parade, and um, I saw hers, and it made me want to pull it out. And there's a lot of you that are working on it. Uh, Patricia that I just mentioned did start it. Um, I am stitching this on 36 count flannel flower by Fox and Rabbit, which I adore. Um, it's hashtag joyous day sal. 
and I'm using the called for over dyed floss. And so I did some um, work um, on the house this morning. So I'm trying to um, get that all laid out. Again, I am going very carefully, trying to take move the banding with my work so that I know I am staying on task to avoid another Away We Ride debacle. But isn't that just... It's just so beautiful. So that's Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs. And then this is my, um, my two threads a day piece, which is Ruskin's Penguins by Modern Folk Embroidery. And I try to, uh, to touch it every day. Some days I miss, but most days I get it. And I am stitching this on a 36 count eucalyptus by Fox and Rabbit um, with the called for Roxy Flosco uh, threads in chalkboard and weathered white. And this is coming along. I have got the border down on one side. Let's see, let's do it this way and getting those snowflakes in. Oh, let's look at it from the right side. What do you think? Um, getting the snowflakes in. As you can see, I've got the border all the way down. I'm kind of saving the penguins in the heart for last. We'll see if I last, but that's what I'd like to do. So that is Ruskin's Penguins by Modern Folk Embroidery. That is my two threads a day stitch. And then finally, um, this is the piece <laughs> that I, I really worked on yesterday or I'm not gonna make it for the uh, hashtag cross, uh, summer cross stitch 2020, that's not right, cross stitch camp 2023 hosted by Sherry, uh, the Colorado cross stitcher. And I am stitching out of the Keeper of the Pins book by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. And I selected this piece right here because the prompt was to have a bird. And I, I'm, I'm really uh, coming down on the uh, end of this. This is stitched on a 36 count piece of uh, doubloon with the called for over dyed. And this is where I am. So really all I have to do is put the top on the tomato, the top on the little strawberry, and put the needles in and it'll be done. Uh, the pins in the long stitches and it will be done. So that is um, the sewing bird in the uh, book uh, Keeper of the Pins by um, Brenda Gervais with a needle and thread. You know, I can see it now. I don't know if I'll change it or not, but um, because this one's not gonna have satin stitch across it. I started stitching circularly and then I went up and down. And you know what? I think I've learned a lesson. So maybe that's a lesson for all of us that I'll, because you can see that there's a kind of a difference in the color there. I may take that out, I may not. Um, but anyway, um, I, I love stitching on it and I'm trying to get all of these done to go in adobo. So that is um, my piece for Summer Cross Stitch Camp 2023. So those are my whips. And now we're gonna go into haul. Uh, not haul, happy mail. And oh my goodness, I, I just don't even know what, what to, I don't even know what to say. Uh, again, uh, th thank you all. I, I had cards, I, I, I had gifts, um, and I, I am so touched and so honored and so humbled uh, that all, all of you uh, 
thought about me on my birthday. Um, so let's, let's see what we have. Um, so the first thing is I got Ira Ray is finished. Ira Ray is in a flat fold. This was done by T Tammy Blaylock. And I'm gonna get her exact name. It is a creative country girl. She makes project bags and bags and does finishing. And there he is. I would not have thought a year ago I would have even had the opportunity to stitch it. Th thank you again, Julie. And she sent me two project bags. And one matches Ira because it's got all the black crows. And it's a really great size for a small project. I love these cards in the, in the like in the tags that you can write what you're stitching on. There's a little scissors right here. Look. Is that just darling? So that was one that was that size. And then I also got a bigger one. How exciting. Again, it has the label on it and the scissors, the spools of thread, and this beautiful floral. Thank you so much, Tammy. That, that was so, so kind of you. Um, so those are from Tammy. Then Susan, actually, I had a kit um, uh, that I sent Susan that I knew I wasn't going to stitch. Just, and, and she kindly um, sent in return um, a, a sewing mat. And guys, you know I'm going to Stitch North and look at it. It is gorgeous. Oh, I am just over the moon. I did not have one. It has a, um, like a needle minder or, you know, um, right, right here. That's what this is. It's magnetized right here. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you, Susan. Thank you so much for thinking so kindly of me. And know that this is going to go to Canada. How, how wonderful. So, oh, and let me show you the fabric on the back too, because it's gorgeous. Okay. So, um, and it's got pockets and it's just, it's just very, very cool. All right. Then I also got from Susan, let me make sure I'm right, right. A beautiful card, a birthday card. And she sent me two charts. One is Beauty Fades by Teresa Kogut. And the other, which I am real excited about, because again, it has the opportunity to challenge me to do something that I haven't done before. But it's, um, it's called uh, Bristol Berries One. And so I've got an opportunity to stitch and make a strawberry. And I love this. You guys know I, I love red samplers, so what's not to love? So Susan, thank you. Thank you so much for thinking of me on my birthday. Next, dear, dear Teresa of Jersey Girl Stitch Company. Um, I had purchased some um, pins from her and Anna uh, in the past and she, um, she graciously um, uh, let me pick some out and sent those to me. I had announced um, last time, because I know it's passed, that she was having a sale um, June 15th through the 18th. And I'm assuming very much that, that this, see, I haven't used it until I show you guys, but uh, she had mentioned that there was going to be some butterfly bling. And look at that. Is that not gorgeous? 
and and they all go on um, a, a come on cards that you can then use as floss drops and they're so gorgeous so I got those I got well you're gonna know why I got this one when but it is um, Prince whoops Prince Rippert can you see the frog and then this is one of those exciting ones that have a, um, a magnet in it so you can put your needle on that. So that's Prince Rippert. And I also got Raspberry Butterfly. This is just exquisite. Look at those. So I encourage you guys, um, their, their customer service is wonderful. They're very talented. They're a, um, they're a family run small business and, and that's what we want to support. So um, thank you, Teresa. That was again, so kind. Then I got from Catherine, uh, stitching in costume. I got a beautiful card. You are my chosen family. And she made a gorgeous scissor fob. Look at that, with an angel wing. Because you know that, that stitch, any angel sow is starting July 1st. And then this is just it is, it's like a needle minder or it could be worn as a pin. It has my initial, it has the pride colors. You know me so well. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you so much for thinking of me on my birthday. Um, I got a, a card from, um, this was from Sarah and Pauline Steele, um, we've, we've met um, on um, Stitch Across the Pond, so I got a beautiful, this came all the way from England. So that's pretty exciting. Thank you, thank you for thinking of me on my birthday. That is a mother and daughter. Um, Julie uh, running with stitches, uh, Julie and Jane running with st stitches, stitching with Julie and Jane sent me um, this one, um, I, I gasped audibly when I opened it. Look at the bling and the, the hummingbird. That was really sweet, guys, because you know I love them. So I will, I will treasure that card, thank you so much. And um, then I think finally, you guys aren't gonna believe this. This is from, uh, uh, let me get the name right. K Kathy. Now, I want you to look closely at that. That card is stitched. And I don't think the video is doing it the justice it deserves. It is beautiful. Thank you so much, Kelly. I so appreciate it. I, I, I just feel very touched and honored. So that, that was my, my, that was my happy mail. That was <laughs> what lifted me up and just, oh my goodness. Um, I, I actually don't have any haul except for, I did get my um, copy of the Primitive Stitcher, uh, Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher magazine. And this is, uh, should be summer. 2023. Again, I, I encourage any of you that don't have this um, to subscribe. Um, I really got my eye on this one by uh, Twin Peaks. Very, I like that so much. So that is, um, that's my haul. I'm pretty sure. I'm just really looking around because I had, I felt like I was really hunting and gathering to get ready for this today, but, but I think that we've got it. So guys, um, if you're new, 
and you did like what you see, I hope you will subscribe, like the bell, uh, like the bell. We're back to that again, aren't we? Like, ring the bell, and share. Um, all of my returning and, and subscribers and viewers, uh, I think you guys may have just pushed Vince up over the, you know, past the finish line. We're doing great, um, and, and, and I appreciate that. I just don't think I could say any more without uh, welling up. But you guys know I love you. So um, if you have any questions for me, please put them in the comments. Um, again, I want to remind you, if you have any ideas about tutorials or if you know which floss tube that was that uh, Nicola Parkman did, where she talked about doing a satin stitch. I would love for you to share that with me. If you have any questions about me that you wanna know, now you've met all but one of my grandchildren. Actually, you've seen a picture of Raja. I, I, Raja was the one that um, had done um, the Adams Family uh, back in his high school days, and, I, and I, I put a picture of that up in an earlier floss tube. Um, don't hesitate to uh, to ask, and let's let's keep our dialogue going uh, through the comments. Um, it is it, there's nothing like it in the world. So um, I am going to be house sitting for Eva and David uh, for approximately two weeks in July. There is a possibility I might go three weeks. It just depends. If it's going to be four weeks before I can film again. I will take stuff and, and I will film over there. I won't, I won't go four weeks without a video. Um, but if it turns out that it could be three weeks, um, I, I might do that, but um, you know, I'll kind of keep you posted through Instagram or, or something like that. So I think I have covered everything. Um, so I'm gonna ask you to grab your stitching, get comfortable and stitch what you love. I love each and every one of you. And I do care about your health, your well-being, and your stitching. Okay, bye-bye.